Hello. Hello. So how was the game? Good or bad? It was okay. Okay. It was okay. What do you think? Alan, what do you think of the game? Oh, magnificent. Magnificent. Yeah, it really came back. Yeah. Harold, that, I mean, they, 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 that, 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 their, their, their touchdown was the chief. He did get called on that face mask, you know? Right, the face mask. And that was a big call, right? A big, yeah. call. A big, a big, yeah. a big call, yeah. Yeah. Well, they came back to yeah, yeah. It, was, it was okay, game. I know you like the halftime right. show. Yeah. Alan, I know you were waiting for the halftime show. I didn't even watch it. I was too busy. Oh, I didn't come on, Alan. You, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, Harold, I waited for that that uh, halftime show, and the Africans in Africa are much better than those Africans. <laughs> white, white guy, white guy. I, I saw listen, one white guy. I'm, I saw I'm, one white guy. Can you imagine if you would do a halftime show and there would only be white guys and one black guy? I wouldn't like oh, it. Not God. only is the halftime show have only one white guy. But every commercial had only black people in it. I know. Yeah. Only black yeah. people are consumers in America. Yeah, I think people it. notice that. I, I'm, I'm just surprised. It's I know. Enough already. It's... We get okay. We got it. Okay. Now next. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that, they had a thing on Sarah Breath. That was black teeth over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Anyway, I'm happy that he won. That's it, you know. Yeah. Was Ernie? Was Ernie at the game? That's why he's not here. <laughs> I guess so. Uh... You know, um, at ULI sponsored a, a learning during the halftime. They had 170 kids watching a Zoom with uh, with uh, with Shurim and uh, singing it was very nice because they didn't want the kids to watch the halftime show. Nice. Were you, were you dancing along, Walter? I, I you didn't see me. <laughs> Maybe you're connected twice. Split personality. Anyway, it was a great game. Wow. Ah, okay. Kenny, you're connected twice. Me? Yeah, you got there's two Kennys. You're alter okay, ego. Hold on. No pun intended. There you go. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey. Guys, I've got to I've got to leave and I will send out the information to everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Shalom Aleichem, everybody. The LA Rams are the Super Bowl champs. Yeah. Yeah, go out and burn a car. Well, I was worried the other way that if, if they were going to lose, I was I was expecting the city to go up in flames. I'm worried both ways. <laughs> so what is Roman Gabriel celebrating? <laughs> is he still alive? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy legs, Hirsch. For sure, he's dead. He's dead. He was Jewish. Yeah. He's in the Jewish uh, Sporting Hall of Fame. Yeah, him and who else? Sandy he was Hope probably the <laughs> he was probably the slowest white guy. <laughs> Roman Gabriel still alive. He's eighty one. Oh. Wow. Roman Gabriel still alive. Lives in North he Carolina. Good, he was a very good quarterback. He, really he was six for five. Wow, I didn't know he was that. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So we're you know, uh, where, you know where Koufax lives? He's alive, by the way. Yeah, he lives in Northern. the East Coast, like in. No, in, he lives in Paso Robles, California. Yeah. Northern really? California. He li yeah, lives in wine Kenny. country. He lives in wine country. Paso Robles, is beautiful. That's a he beautiful rents from Kenny. Yeah, I keep looking him up. I want to find him when I'm up there. Knock on his door. That's a beautiful. It's near San Luis Obispo, right? Exactly. Yeah. That is such a beautiful area. I've always loved visiting there. It's so well, pretty. You yeah. can rent. I have a winery there. You can rent it anytime oh. you want. Oh. For you, a good discount. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. We'll have they, a... Uh, I think we should make the seal over there, you know? Yeah. Why not? Why not? We'll bring... I'll bring the wine. Okay. I sleep 12, so take your pick. But what about, what about food? 
food you drink what's the big deal you, you have drink. another glass of wine glass of wine and cigar some... you're full and bring some cheese exactly you got you guys i'm looking at march 20th for the cm sunday night okay it's march the uh, sunday it's right okay. after forum the sunday after forum okay let's make sure everybody why don't we make the cm on forum why don't we make it the forum suda I think a Marvin Simcha Besimcha. And also, yeah. everybody wants to be with their family. Yes. Yeah, really? Really complicated. I don't know. I've done oh. that enough, haven't I? <laughs> March 20th. Okay. It sounds like a good day. Let everybody yeah, put in. Make sure, yeah. they're, make sure everyone is, is free that night. Okay. So we're talking about... We're talking about a, a, a woman that the Malach HaMoves took... Um, too early. Too early. This woman was sweeping an oven. Some, some coal landed on her foot. So like when you're in pain or something bad happens to you, you're like your muzzle goes down. I see and I was able to catch her and bring her to, you know, to the Molochamovasville. So Amalei Ravivi Barabaya. So Ravivi Barabaya said to the Malach Amoves, how can you do that? Can you take somebody just before their time? Amalei, Veloksi V'yesh Nispe Velo Mishpat? It says in Mishlei that uh, the Malach Amoves said, it says, yes, there are people who are... Who, who die without proper justice. But it says, one door will die, a new generation comes, which seems to suggest that there is a very careful calculation who's gonna, who, you know, who's gonna die in his time, etc. So Omar, the Malach HaMavis gave away a secret. The Re'ina Le'ano, Ademir Ludora, he, sort of gathers them. Uh, he doesn't necessarily bring them, he gathers them somewhere. And then he brings them into the, uh, wherever he brings them when the generation is done. Duma is the name of another Malach who uh, takes care of the, uh, takes care of the Neshamas. Omer lay sof sof shani mayavidita. But fine, you you shepherd them, but then you took them away prior to this. So they're, they, they've lost years of their life. Omar, So Talmud Chacham, who, who gets insulted, but he is Mavra al Midoisav, he doesn't care about that. So he will add years to that person from the person who was taken earlier. So you see the power of not accepting insults. That means not being uh, overly hurt by insults, comments, let it bounce off of you. Because Lechura from the Gemara here, it seems it's a mechanism for the Malach HaMovis to give such a person extra years of life. Okay. Rav Yechelen Kimot Alaykra Bochi. We've been dealing with various psukim that the Amiroim would, would come to and they would start crying. Vatisiteni vo levalo chinam. This is from Iyuv. Hashem says to the Sotan, remember, there's a Sotan who gave Kodesh Baruch the idea to afflict Iyuv. And he was upset with him because it was done for naught. That means there was no reason why Eov was punished. Eved, Shirabu Mesitin Lo Vinissus, Takona Yeshlo. Meaning Rav Yechelen noted that uh, uh, the master, Kodesh Baruch Hu, um, allowed harsh action. Um, and it was, he was sort of... Uh, he was sort of driven to it by the Sotan. So we have no Takana for that. What's going to be for us? 
So he cried when he would read that pasuk. Rabbi Yochan Kimotel Hai Kro Bachi Hain Big Doish of Loyamim. He have also said that he doesn't. Uh, there's, there's no nemonus in his kedoshim, in the, the in his holy ones. He big doish of loyamim b'man yamim. If a Godish Baruch who doesn't trust his kedoshim, who does he trust? Yoy machad have a kozel borcha. Rav Yechon was walking. Chazal who gathered have a man ketein. There was a person who was collecting figs. Uh, those figs that were ripe, he left, he, he, he didn't pick them. And those that were not ripe, he picked those. It doesn't make, make sense. You usually pick the ripe ones and you, and you let the ones that are unripe stay on the tree longer until they ripen. Omrele, lav animalun tfei, Aren't the ripe figs better than the unripe ones? I'm going on a trip. Um, and therefore, the ones that are not ripe will stay with me, and over time, they will ripen. If I took the ripe ones, they would not last during the trip. Honey, not in vanilla natron. The unripe ones will, will, will last, the other ones will not. Omar, This refers to Kaddish Baruch who takes Kedoshim, means he causes them to die early, before their time, because he, he predicts that if they stayed alive, they would end up doing Averis. Therefore, he takes them early. The Gemara says, "Ain't it's not so." There was a student in the neighborhood of Rabbi Alexander. He was a zutr, and he died when he was very young. Omar, he boy haim rabbonon havechai. The tamed chacham. It's good that he died because if he would if he if he would not have died, he would have done certain activities that would have caused him to die before his time. Maybe he was one of those that are mentioned that he's a Kadosh and it wasn't his sins that caused him to die, but his future sins. No, it was a student who was, act, who was, uh, he was a chutzpahdik in front of his teachers and Rav Alexander knew about it. Rav Yechelen Kimot Elai Bochi. When Rav Yochanan came to the following posuk, he cried. That means I will come, come to you in judgment and I will serve as a witness against the, the witchcraft, the ones committing adultery, those that swear falsely, they don't, he doesn't pay his wages. If you have an evidence that the master has a whole lit, litany of, uh, of things that he wants to accuse him and he wants to even testify against him, what kind of chance does he have of surviving? So that's why when he came to the apostle, he would cry. When you are a machashef or a menoef, an adulterer, the, the punishment is capital punishment. If you withhold payment from a worker, it's not capital punishment. But yet it seems to equate both types of Averis. Woe is to us if that's the case. Somebody comes to judgment and a judge rules harshly against a gear, not appropriately. It's as if he's uh, ruling against a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Shonamar, umate gear, umate 
Mati it refers to turning a Kodesh Baruch Hu away. Someone does something and regrets it. He gets kapor right away. In Malachi, people would do sins and Kodesh Baruch Hu says they don't fear Hashem. Hayiruni moichlan lamiyah. But if he if if he was fearful of Hashem, Hashem would forgive him. Rav Yechon Kimari like Rav Bachi is kol masa Elohim yavi b'mishpat al kol ne'elam. This is in uh, Koheles. That whatever a person does. HaKadosh Baruch is going to bring you to justice even on things that were hidden. And then, therefore, HaKadosh Baruch is going to treat, even if we do something b'shogeg, which is like ne'elam, it means uh, something that wasn't necessarily done b'meizid. So what kind of takona are we going to have? So what kind of chet is referred to my akol ne'elam? Omerav. Someone has a somebody has lice, and you kill the lice, but the friend is disgusted by it. So he caused his friend having an uncomfortable feeling, and that's uh, that's that's considered a chet. Well, or somebody who spits, right from from, from reek. And the and the friend is and the friend is uh, disgusted by it. And then, what did it mean im tov im ra? Right, kias komasel okim im tov im ra, whether good or bad. Armid rav yon ezayn nice and stuck alani befarhesya. Person gives sedaka to a person in public. It embarrasses him. He did a good deed by giving him stuka, but he embarrassed him. So sometimes you could do im tov im ra. You think you're doing tov, but you're also doing ra. Kiad Rav Yanei Chazalu Gavre Kayod Zizaloni before Hestia. Rav Yanei saw a person give a give stalker to a poor person publicly. Amrle Mutav Lo Yavislei Mehashad Yavislei Ksafte. Better that you wouldn't have given it to him, than you gave it to him and embarrassed him by giving it to him in public. The very Rav Shilo Amri. Another example of im tov im ra. You give stalker to a woman privately. You allow a woman to come into your home and you have yechidus. It means there's going to be chashash on the woman. So you gave her stalker, but it led to evil. The people will be choshed her. Person sends his wife a big piece of meat that hadn't been cut up. The Gidanasha is still there. And she's going to try to prepare it quickly. It's Erev Shabbos. She may not be able to remove the Gidanasha. And maybe she'll cook it. And that's a problem. Rav himself used to do that. And for the Gemara, who was Rava's wife? The daughter of Rav Chizda. Shani Bas Rav Chizda. The Kim Lebegavod Bekiya. She was uh, expert in getting rid of traboring the Gidan Asha. Or would understand the Alocha so that if she couldn't get out the Gidan Asha, she wouldn't cook it. Until after Shabbos, what she had time to remove it. Rav Yechelen Kimote like Rav Bochi. This is in Dvorim. And it'll happen that the Klai Yisrael will have a lot of bad things happen to them. You have, a, you have a servant whose master is predicting that bad things are going to come. What kind of takona does the Evid have? My Rose with Soros. Amarav Rosh and Asus Soros Zulu Zulu. That Sarah is like a is like a co-wife, so it it, it they're in, 
it, it's a bad thing that causes other bad things. Kagon zibur vakrava, like a, like a, a wasp and a scorpion. You, each one is treated differently. One is treated with cold, one is treated with hot. Can treat them both at the same time. Person provides a loan to an oni when he when when he needs it. But he then wants payment right away. People say a person needs to buy food, he can't find a, a, a dollar. But when you have creditors that are pushing a person to pay back, so then you, he, he'll, he'll find money. This is uh, this is in in, in uh, Azinu Vayelech, where it's part of the bad news that Hakadosh Baruch is giving to Klal Yisrael. I will be angry with them, and I will leave them, and I will hide my face from them. If somebody always has his tefillahs answered, you have to worry, maybe he's not really from Klai Yisrael. Because it means somebody who, sometimes he davens and he's answered, sometimes he doesn't get answered when he davens, that's Klai Yisrael. Because it was promised to Klai Yisrael that there are times where Hashem's gonna hide his face. Now what's the other simonim that might not be from the Jewish people? Somebody, for example, Goyim, don't steal money from him. Because it's, it's promised by the Torah that Goyim are going to steal money from Jews. They told Rav, listen, you are, there's no Hester Ponim by you. You daven and your feelings are always answered. And the law of Ayelechel is say you also the goyim don't steal from you. So what do we have to we have to be suspicious that you're not part of Klai Yisrael? So he, Rav said to him, "Do you know how much money I send that you don't know Bitsina to the king Shmor Malka? In essence, he's stealing from me. I have to give him bribes." They still, the, you know, the, the Chachamim were suspicious about Rava. Meanwhile, messengers came from Shromaka to him and put him in jail. Why? In order to be able to get more money from his family. So the Chachamim had suspected, had put their eyes on, on Rava that maybe he has a problem. And whenever Chachamim put their eyes on somebody, it, it comes true. And therefore, either the person dies or becomes poor. And Rava became poorer because he was in prison and his family had to ransom off more money. Then the Pesach says, Vanochi aster aster I will hide my face from you. You know what? I will still speak to them in dreams. I won't cut them off completely. And he guards us with his great hand. Even though there's Esther Ponim, Hashem protects us. Rav Yeshu ben Hananiah v'koi be'keser. Rav Yishuv ben Chananya was by the Roman Caesar. There was a Christian or somebody who didn't believe, right? 
Maimin Yeshu Node 3 or, or not be Koiris. You're from the nation that the uh, Hashem turned his face from them. I, that's why you're in Gaul. That's why, that's why you end up here in Rome. Yeah, but Hashem still has his hand guarding us. So the Caesar said to Rabbi Yeshua, I mean, what was this gesture and how did you respond? He told me that the, the, your Hashem has turned his back to us, but I pointed out to him that his Hashem's hand is still guarding us. So so the people from the house of uh, the Roman ruler told the, the mean, my Achvis slay. What did, uh, you explain what the gesturing was about. So he said, the people whose master turned their face from them, that was the first gesture, my Achvile. And how was, what was his response? He said, I don't know, I didn't understand what he meant. Amru. You don't know what this guy is meaning when he gestures. That's dangerous in front of the king. He might be gesturing for an assassination. So they took the men out and they killed him. When Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanan, it looked like was he was a defender of Klai Yisrael in Rome. He was dying. The Chacham said, "Who's going to protect us?" Yeah. Is there no more wisdom in Klai Yisrael? Even Shav the Eitz Mibonim Nisroch Chachmasam Shalom Asolam. You know what? It's Zelu Mazeh. Yes, Chachma is less in Klai Yisrael, but. Chachma in the world is also going down. They won't have they won't have a great people either. When uh, when Yaakov and Esav were separating, Esav said, "Let's walk together, and uh, you know we will walk opposite each other." But just like over there, Rashi says, when the Jewish people are up, the Romans are down. When the Romans are up, the Jewish people are down. You know, Esav. So they'll, they'll, that's the way it's always going to be. Ravila was going up the stairs. Ravila, Ravila was going up the stairs. Ravila was going up the stairs. Ravila was going up the stairs of Rav Barshila. Shamali Anukadava Kokori. He heard a child who was reading. Here is the creator of mountains, Uvore Ruach, the creator of winds, Umagid Lo'od Masicho. And Tells the human being what his speech is all about. Omar. Evet Shirabu Magidlo Masicho. And Evet, whose master has to tell him what to speak. Takona Yeshlo. The guy doesn't know how to speak, he's never gonna have a takona. My Masicho, on Rabafilu Sicha Yesh Benishli Ishto Magidim Lolod Bishas Misa. If a person spoke inappropriately or unnecessarily, a bit of, you know, just language that was not appropriate, that's not needed, even between a man and his wife, even what they were in intimate relations. He, this will, this will have been taken and it'll be recounted to the person after may have asked him, or says, Ain't it's not so, Rav Kana was once lying underneath Rav's bed, and Rav was in the bed with his wife. And he heard Rav playfully talk with his wife in like prior to relations to make it more comfortable for relations. Omar, Dami Pumad Rav, command the low time like Tavshila. That means it, 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 it's almost like Rav was able to talk like a sailor. You know, that Rav had a very uh, uh, 
very rough language. So first of all, all of a sudden, Rav notices one of his Talmidim is present in his room. I'm like, Anna, put love or chara. Get out of here. What, what are you doing here? This is, this is not appropriate that you're overhearing this. So, but the kasha is, first it was said, you can't have sicha yasera between, your, your, between man and wife. That you're going to be recounted this in Shemayim. Yet we're told that Rav did it with his wife. When you're seducing your wife prior to relations, so then you speak in that way. That's appropriate. But when it's not needed, it, there shouldn't be excessive, excessive, uh, uh, you know, not purposeful talking with your wife. This is from Yirmiyahu. That my nefesh is going to cry because of Gaiva. He has a place in Shemayim, and it's called Mistarim. I guess this is a place where Hashem puts his tears or a place where he goes when he cries. And he cries because the Jewish people had a lot of pride, it was taken from them when they were conquered by the Goyim. And also, Malchus Shemayim was lessened as the Goyim trampled on the Jewish people. Does the Kodesh Baruch Hu cry? There's no um, uh, people aren't sad in front of a Kodesh Baruch. There's no that that state doesn't exist. It's simcha. So like Kasha, Habavate Gvei, Habavate Baroi. So in his innermost places, Rav Kuk is going to be able to be able In his innermost places, Hashem can cry. To the outer Chatseros of Hashem, there he can't cry. Whatever, whatever that, whatever that is. He doesn't cry in his out, outer chambers. Vaksiv. So even in the outer realms of Akadosh Baruch Hu, there was there was sadness. Shiny. Even the angels of peace cried. Shenamar. Then the pasuk in Yeshaya continues. What are these tears? Aini is two, and Dima or Damoa Tidma. Dimas three times the most. Achas al migdash rishon, achas al migdash sheni, achas al yisrael shagolim im koman. That on the two base migdashes, and that the Jewish people have to leave Eretz Yisrael. Eikad the Amri, achas al bitul toira, which happens uh, in the Golis. Bishem al mal yisrael shagolim. I don't believe he nishba eder Hashem. That exactly says that the eder Hashem, the flock of Hashem, was taken prisoner. The one about bitul Torah. What do you mean? Where do you see Torah? Kinish by the Hashem. Where is that? Kiva shagolis from Kamen Elok bitul Torah Gadol Mizel. There was no greater bitul Torah than when Klai Yisrael was taken into Golis. Torah about and Shloisha Kadosh Baruch Hu Boichel and Bechol Yom. Hashem cries for three types of people every day. Al sheef shalasak b'tor v'noisik. Somebody can learn, but he doesn't learn. Somebody, he's not good at learning Torah, and yet he continues to learn. The leader of a, of a community, the president of a shul, that you know, rides the community very hard. Rabbi Avedok had said for Kinos for Kakari Begave. Rav Yehuda was was reading from Sefer Echa. 
that the beauty of Kleisel was thrown down. So Nafal Minyode, he, the Sefer fell from his hands. Omar, Me'igra Libira Mikta. It's so terrible. The Jewish people were so high and they fell so low, similar to the book. Rebbe Rav Chia Vashakli Vazi Borcha. Rebbe and Rav Chia were walking. Kimadal Umas, so they got to a certain city. Amri Ikitsu Rabbanan Hacha. Is there a Talmud Chacham that we can go visit? Nezel Venik, but let's go greet him. Amri Ikitsu Rabbanan Hacha. Umo Ore Nayimu. There's a Talmud Chacham, but he's blind. Amri Rav Chia Lerebi. Tiv At. He told him where to sit. You don't have to go. I will go. To go a Nasi to visit someone who's not on your level, you all go. I will go and be Makabel Pony. However, Rabbi Yudha said, no, nothing doing. I'm going with you. And they visited this Tamil Chacham who was blind. So the blind person said to Rabbi and Rabchia, Atemik Baltem Ponimanirim, the Ainan Roim. You were Makabal a face that was that is seen but doesn't see. Tiskulahagbil Ponima Roim the Ainon Nirim. You he gave them a bracha that you should be, be Magbil Ponim of who sees but is not seen. Which is a beautiful bracha, means a Kaddish Baruch And Omer Lei Iku Hashem and also my Berkhaz. You know, you almost prevented me from getting this very precious bracha. Omer Lei Miman Shmielach. They wanted to know from the blind Tamil Chacham, where did he hear this bracha? So he answered, I heard it from Rabbi Yaakov. Rabbi Yaakov ish kvar chit yav magbil ape de Rabbi kol yoma. Rabbi Yaakov would be makabel his rav every day. And when Rabbi Yaakov grew, grew older, kikash amrle, lo nistar mar de lo yachumar. You don't have to come and visit me. It makes such a, it's so hard. Don't visit me. So amrle, Rabbi Yaakov said to his teacher, mi zutur mai? It's not a light thing about being makabel pnei rabba. Duxivu brabonon. For a person to can always live and not, not see Gehenna, which is Yira Shachas, it's like a Kalvachomer. So if someone sees Chachamim, while they die, and they're told that they're going to live. So Allah has come of a comma that it's important to visit the Tamil Chacham when they're alive. Ravidi Avud Rabbi Yaakov Baridi Averogel Dava Azel Tlosa Yarche Beorcha. Ravidi was the father of Yaakov. And he would be on the road for three months to go to the yeshiva. Bavi Yom Ebevei Rav. Echad Yom Ebevei Rav. He would spend one day in the yeshiva of Rav. Avakar le Rabon and Bar be Rav de Chadyoma. He's like a yeshiva student for one day. By the way, the Yom Kala that we used to do at Yagin Zerf Hancock Park, we used to call Bar be Rav de Chadyoma to be a Tabat Chacham for one day. That was, a, that was another name we gave it besides Yom Kala. Anyways, Chalash Daiti was insulted by the, that they would say it better him. I'm like a, a laughing stock for my friends. But he begged, the Rabbi Yochanan begged him, please don't be harsh with the Chachamim and, and cause them to be punished. So Rabbi Yochanan left the base Medrash and taught, I see Yom Yom Yidrishun. You seek me out and you want to know my ways. 
Would we only darshan Hashem in the daytime, not at night? And this was the uh, this was the banner of the Barbe Rav the Chad Yoyma. Whoever studies Torah even one day in in a full way, it's as if he studied Torah a whole year. It's the same thing about punishment. The Miraglim spied the land for 40 days, and the punishment was that they would wander for 40 years. They didn't uh, spy for 40 years, they only spied for 40 days. If you only sin one day, so each day was treated like a full year. Okay, we'll stop here. Is the, we go to a new sugi of Ezeu Katno. Very interesting, I got it, though.